Hello everybody, I wanted to make a little introduction video for my YouTube page just to talk a little bit about myself, uh, my art, and what you can expect on the channel. Um, my name is Liana and I am the artist, creator of Aquabun. Aquabun is the name of my uh, art brand, my art business. I'm a watercolor artist, I specialize in fantasy, whimsical fantasy animal artwork. I love doing um, a lot of different kinds of art, but my favorite uh, is definitely fantasy, animals, nature, anything in that kind of realm. A little bit about myself and how I got started into art and watercolor. So I've been drawing for most of my life. I started drawing when I was around three years old and I would just draw and draw all the time, pretty much as much as I possibly could. Um, I was the kid that was always doodling on the side margins in class all day, every day. Pretty much would draw anytime I got a chance if we were ever out. Um, that was my thing to do when I was bored. So I've been doing uh, art for a long time. I've been drawing for a long time. I really got into doing uh, anime fan art when I was around 12. And 13 uh, when my friend introduced me to anime um, so that's when I started really focusing on that kind of art and I learned how to use like markers and I was using Copic markers a lot and um, that was my focus for a few years um, I kind of got out of art for and got more into music for a period of my life uh, which I'm trying to get back into it's just a little hard juggling everything Earlier in my life I had a heavy focus on art and then I kind of gravitated towards music and now I'm gravitating out of music and back into art again. Watercolor specifically, that came in to the picture of my life about four years ago. It's crazy because I've never really like necessarily been super into watercolor before. I always loved the look of it, but I love the look of a lot of different mediums of art. And it's like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just had this like overwhelming feeling one day to do watercolor and to learn watercolor. That's pretty much how I got started into it. As like wild as that sounds, that's what happened. I just got this out of the blue, just extreme desire to learn watercolor and I went to Michaels and I just picked up the cheapest supplies I could get the cheapest brushes the cheapest watercolor paints um, and paper and just started going at it and practicing and I just really really loved it and just really really spoke to me more more so than any other medium even the markers and drawing drawing of course I always always love um, but yeah, I never really like focused on a specific medium until uh, watercolor. And that's just become by far my favorite medium in traditional watercolor. Oh, and I also dabbled in some digital art at one point. I only did that for about a year or two, but I that is something I am trying to get back into again. A lot of people ask me how did the how did I get into drawing the like the mermaid bunnies and the fantasy animals. I had when I was starting to do watercolor, I had pet a pet rabbit. Um, I had two. So I was really into bunnies at the time. Still am. I love, love, love bunnies. They just melt my heart. And the fantasy aspect, that's another thing that I have always been into for pretty much all of my life. As young as I can remember, I have been obsessed with mermaids. And over time, I've grown to love a lot of different fantasy elements. Basically anything fantasy I love, but mermaids will always be that number one thing to me. That is like my go-to when I do art is, is mermaids, something mermaid themed. One day I just was like, hey, let me just put the two together. And I did just for fun. Um, and I posted it and people seemed to really, really love it. And I really enjoy painting it. And from there I've just, 
um, did more mermaid bunnies and I've added to that where I do like bunnies with the fairy wings and bunnies with the dragon wings and other animals like dogs with mermaid tails, cats with mermaid tails and so forth. That's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to expand and practice doing other animals and I really love when I get commissions like pet commissions because it really helps me practice with other animals. So I think that's really cool. That's kind of some information about my artwork and my how I got into it and everything. Um, some things about me, uh, like I said, I love fantasy. I am a scuba diver, so that really uh, kind of plays into my art and getting to see all the beautiful sea life and sea creatures. Uh, when I go on the dive trips with my family, that's that really influences my art. Um, always been a huge fan of fantasy that's that's never gonna leave I love nature I love going on walks I'm not a big hiker hiker per se but I love going on nature walks I love how relaxing it is and that kind of you know gives me some inspiration t to flow in when I'm on the walks I wouldn't say I'm a big gamer I used to be much more into video games um, but I still definitely am a big big in video games I love watching movies movies are really big to me um, I have a pet cat <laughs> uh, she is 13 years old I've had her for a long time I love her so I don't know just some random facts about me and my hair is never a natural color uh, if you ever see me in person, it is usually purple, sometimes silver. Uh, I've had green, blue, blonde, uh, black with other colors, um, but purple is my go-to. So that is my favorite color. There's some random facts about me. Uh, and lastly, I will tell you all what you can expect from this channel. And I figured also I would put like timestamps in the direction, the directions, the description to tell you like what sections you can look at the various of what you can expect on this channel. So the biggest thing is speed paints. I started doing those on my Instagram and I really love doing them. They're really easy to edit and I'm already doing the painting anyway so I'm like why not like film it? I love seeing when other people do their artwork too. I started doing that for Instagram so uh, you'll definitely see a lot of those. And if you don't know what a speed paint is, it's a uh, just filming the painting process of me creating a work of art sped up um, so it goes by a little faster. But lots of those. Another thing I'm going to do is probably speed paints where I put a uh, commentary over top or well and videos that are more full length where I plan to you know not speed it up and just play it at normal speed and talk about the process and do more like tutorial style videos for those who are interested in learning uh, about watercolor. Um, I definitely want to do some uh, videos about supplies I use, um, beginner tips, things like that. Uh, I really like to try some of the art challenges. That's something I never really do, uh, but I think that would be fun for the YouTube channel and that would really uh, help push me to make just a lot of art which would be really awesome and add to my portfolio and just give me an excuse to just make more art in general I guess. I plan to do vlog style updates kind of like what I'm doing right now which is just talking and uh, letting you all know what's going on, new events I have coming up, new projects I have going on, new artwork, um, things that are going to be in my store, things I'm working on, just various types of updates about my art and uh, what I have going on and whatnot. The other thing is gameplay videos and specifically cute, wholesome gameplay videos. Those are some of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite video games. For I, I really love video games. I just haven't had as much time to um, in my life. Uh, in recent years but um, I try to when I get the chance and when I say cute wholesome games my favorite series is Harvest Moon that is like my all-time favorite um, so I love farming cute farming simulator games I love fantasy RPGs and I love most Nintendo games so expect things that are kind of in that genre and the other thing is as I was speaking about earlier I really I have been getting into music 
and then I got kind of back out of it once I started focusing more on my art again. But I plan to uh, do some videos here and there where I'm playing and I didn't even mention what the instruments will be. It will be violin and harp videos. Those are the two instruments I play. So I'm hoping YouTube gives me an excuse to get back into practicing, you know, doing that when I can and sh showing, showing you guys some, letting you, not showing, well showing and listening to uh, some lovely tunes. Thank you for uh, listening to me ramble today. Hopefully that gives you some more insight into me, the artist, as well as what you can expect for the YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, definitely put those in the comments below. Any questions about me, my art process, whatever you want to would like to learn to get to know me better. I think that'd be cool to talk about maybe in the next video. So I'm really excited about this. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Uh, follow along on this art journey. Woo!